Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is David Poole. I live at 1216 St. Amelia Court with my wife and my 14-year-old daughter who attends Carroll High School and my four-year-old son. And I'm here for two reasons. One, I care deeply about our community. And two, I think I can bring a different and unique perspective to this commission in considering XTO's application. The reason is I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Petroleum Engineering. I spent several years in the oil and gas business in a variety of drilling and production operations, including as a drilling engineer in offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. I also have a law degree. I am here tonight with the knowledge of this industry, the understanding of what it means to our community, and the expectation that we will protect my children in their future. It, I, I do want to address indirectly some of my fellow residents' comments to you tonight. And it's really unfortunate. I, I know that they come up here just as sincere in their beliefs as I am tonight. But unfortunately, the vast majority of the comments that you've heard from people opposed to this permit are based on fear, not facts. Yeah. Even some of the most intelligent people that showed up up here tonight, who I'm sure are very thoughtful, very sincere, and have the best of intentions for their own families, are just simply wrong. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. No. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. No. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. No. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic it's just fundamentally incorrect. No. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. No. The statement that frac fluid is highly toxic is just fundamentally incorrect. 